Before this video starts, I just want to quickly announce that we are now partnered with Keeps for All. Use code LUCID at checkout to save 5% on in-stock or group buy items. Welcome back to Near Lucid. Today we'll be taking a look at the notoriously hyped, incredibly famous TikTok switches, banana splits. These have garnered a lot of attention on social media platforms, and I think they can be regarded as one of the most well-known enthusiast switches out there. I was lucky enough to snatch a few from the most recent drop, so let's take a look. Splits have a very bold colorway, with a yellow stem, pink top housing, and purple bottom housing. They only come with a moderate 62 gram spring. The stem is made of palm, and the housings are made of a nylon and polycarb blend. They're PCB mounted and do benefit from films, although they aren't required. They are very slightly factory lubed, however you can lube on top of this. Banana splits retail for 65 cents a switch on TKC. They're not the easiest to get your hands on, often only appearing on in-stock drops that sell out in a few minutes. However, these are actually in group buy right now, so if you'd like some, check out the link in the description. Before we head into lubed sound tests, let's take a listen to these stock. So the Alpine has a more muted sound signature, which is pretty clearly audible. Unlooped, splits are fairly smooth. I wouldn't say it's anything surprising like stock Telio level or anything unusable like stock Novel Keys Cream. It's kind of in between and a bit on the smoother side. For better reference, they're just a little less smooth than a stock Tangerine. Let's get to the lubed sound test. Since Tangerines are also fairly popular and also made by C3, we'll be comparing the two. Let's take a listen. So both of these switches are definitely on the clackier side as opposed to thockier. Splits are fairly muted, but still have a pretty definitive sound. The difference between stock and modded is a bit hard to tell through the microphone. Lubing and filming took away the extra noise the switch made, and also made the bottom out sound a little less harsh. Since they're already fairly smooth, it didn't have a very large effect on the feel, but they are definitely smoother. In terms of stem and housing wobble, it's moderate, and I would recommend using some films like desk keys. I think I should also address the hype around this switch, since it is generally one of the first switches you'll see if you're getting into the hobby. I don't think it's entirely warranted. Yes, these are good switches. They sound pretty good in most boards and have a very cute colorway, but they're not nearly as groundbreaking or perfect as some people make it out to be. As sad as it is to hear, there isn't one definitive switch for absolutely everyone. To put it simply, there is rarely ever a best in this hobby. My favorite may be banana splits, but yours might be something else entirely, and it's always based on your personal preference. In a hobby with so many choices, it's easy to settle on and glorify a few of them out of the many, just for simplicity's sake. But if you're serious about this hobby, like I think many of you are, you should never be afraid to try new things, and always remember that the rabbit hole goes way deeper than you may think. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching this episode of Near Lucid. If you like this video, drop a thumbs up. If you have feedback or questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'd be more than happy to answer. Also, these videos take lots of work. 
And by subscribing, you're letting us know that you want us to keep making them. And if you find my voice annoying, you can always unsubscribe. That's all for this video. I'll see you guys later.